The new PvP game mode is here and it's very, very fun and very good for new players to learn how Guild Wars 2 works, to learn their classes and to get a lot of gold and a special, special title that we're gonna see in this video. And I'm gonna tell you how you can actually play this game mode and how it actually works. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Go to my Ko-Fi if you want to support me. Get into it. First, let's talk about why uh, you should be doing this in the first place. If you want to skip to how do you actually play it, just go into the timestamp and go there instead. Well, as I said before, the queues are very fast. Uh, the games are very fast. Usually you can even, you know, if, if you're completely losing the game, it will just be able to end the game by pushing the node into your base and instantly winning. Sometimes I've gotten matches that are last three minutes because I win and sometimes three minutes because we lose. Uh, so even if you're doing very, very badly, you're not going to be stuck like in Conquest, not being able to do anything and just, oh my God, like, this game is never ending. You can just instantly, instantly just go. Uh, super, super, super nice. And also this will make the gold per hour of this very, very good. As you can see in PvP, you get actual gold uh, by playing this and also some shards of glory, some other materials, and of course the reward tracks. So honestly, by doing this PvP, uh, you will actually be getting a good amount of gold because of how fast the matches are. Also, if you finish it, you'll get the title Push Beta Tester if you get to the end of the Persimmon which, uh, uh, chest, which not only gives you a lot of gold, but also, you know, kind of give you that little title. And if you get the top 50 of the actual... Um, leaderboard in PvP, you will uh, get another another uh, title that is called, I think it's called um, Object in Motion, uh, and you'll be able to get that one, and it's only going to last for this period of time, this two uh, weeks, so if you really want to blast that and get to the top level, you probably can, it's going to be a bit hard for sure, there's a lot of people trying to get in here, and the meta at the top level is a bit annoying it's only it's essentially bunkers which i really hope they fix soon but yeah there you go now how do you actually play this mode if you played payload in other games this is going to be very easy for you to understand but you're going to see that there's a, a little node at the middle of the map right there and you are going to have to try and push it towards the enemy's uh, base and if you arrive here well on the actual end of their base you'll win and if the other team arrives at my place they will uh, win and of course sometimes you don't do that sometimes it goes to the, to the timer and what will happen is that and a lot of people have been very confused about this is not the important part is not going to be where the node actually is but how further it has gotten if the node has in my team arrived here right uh, right there uh, this will mean that if the other team passes this line but in my side they'll be winning right and this is going to be represented with something that i'm going to show you very soon which is a, a blue flag and a red flag and this represents how further you've gotten with each uh, of your nodes so if your node is further away you're winning if your node if your flag is further behind than the other one you are losing now you can see here that there's a blue flag there that means that that's how further the uh the blue team has made it. You can see it in the map as well, and you can see our red flag on the other side, and you can see it in the uh, in the game as well, not only in the map. This will mean that unless blue pushes more further than that, and you can see it on this side as well, uh, blue will not be able to win. This is a very good way of actually telling how far you are into the game, and you know if you're winning or losing or whatever, right? Now, how do you actually push the and move the node? You have to stand on it. In order for it to move, your team is the only one that is gonna be able to stand on it otherwise if there's someone from the other team standing there uh, it will stop and until everyone is from one of the teams there's an exception on how to actually win uh, if the timer goes out and there's no more time left um, but the team that is actually currently losing has the node they'll be able to still push until the um, the node gets captured by the other team so let's say for example that blue is actually here and this is the flag and we're winning but it's the, and the time is up but they have they have the node and we are dead in this case they can actually push it back uh towards here and maybe even win if they actually push it further than what we got on red assuming that we don't capture it and they win every team fight after that uh, and of course not only that but we never acquired it even for a second because as soon as we capture it the match will instantly Finish. It is also important to note that while you are inside of this node, 
when you uh, actually stack in there and it's contested, you'll start getting a debuff that prevents you from getting healing. Well, it's a rapid reduction of incoming healing and it will make you take more damage. And the more you stand on it while it's contested, the more stacks you get. It lasts for seven seconds. So even after you leave, you'll still have the debuff. So getting getting into the, the contested node does have its disadvantages. Essentially make it so you can bring an insanely bunkery full tank build uh, and just use that to stand in there forever with your team. Now, it's not very powerful right now and people are still bunkering, but that is exactly the purpose of it. Now, is this all there is to this game mode? Not really. There's actually two bonus, uh, bonus objectives as well. Now, these bonus objectives do two things. The one here, Soul Reaper, will make it so you actually get 20% more damage. It actually says here that someone's a minion of Grant to finish your throw, but that is actually not true. That doesn't happen here. It only gives you a 20% um, 20% buff on all of your teammates. You cannot stack this. There's going to be one happening right here and one another happening right here, but you cannot stack them. If you get both, you're just going to deny the other team the, one of them and also refresh yours. And this actually spawn at a certain time. You, you can see that here on the top, there's gonna be a timer. When the timer arrives at eight minutes and 30 seconds, six and three minutes, 30 seconds, and one minute, these uh, buffs will spawn here and here at the same time. And there's also another one, another buff, this one here, Ethereal Embrace. Once obtained, your enemies will be unable to contest capture points for a duration. So this will make it so they, uh, you know, they cannot... Uh, if you get it, your enemy team will not be able to move the node. You'll just be stuck there. And the only way it's going to move if it's is if you are actually using it. And even if they're trying to get in there and try and contest yours, they will not be able to do it. So this is actually very, very powerful. Especially when you're, you know, losing a teamfight. You can just... And, and maybe your enemies... Uh, just wipe your entire group. You can use this to make make it so your teammates can revive and come in here and uh, and win a team fight and get the uh, the node again. This one will spawn at six minutes and thirty mi seconds in the timer and at three minutes on the timer. So thank you very much, Carolyn, for helping me with the timers. I'll leave a description down below for you to follow her in YouTube and Twitch to watch her play very good PP push and conquest. Now that is all about it. Um, of course, there are certain places that you can kite around in order to get away from people. And honestly, that's what I've found out very, very useful here, uh, particularly, you know, being able to, you know, go in to the team fight, do a lot of damage, see that my cooldowns are done and just get out for a little bit, recover and then go back again. Uh, also, another thing that you should be definitely doing is if you die, and everyone in your team dies, wait for them to respawn uh, before you actually go in again into the team fight and die. Right? There's no point in you dying over and over again. You want to go again and with your with your team to actually recover that node and win against the other team. Otherwise, it's gonna you know be, a lot of people fa fail and uh, fail the games because they just go in one at a time, dying to the entire enemy team one v five, one v five, one v five, and even though they're better overall. It's just not enough because they're not grouping up. So that's definitely one thing that I would consider you and, and you know, you should be paying attention to. But that's about it. That's the entirety of the video. That is uh, all you need to know. Um, in terms of which builds uh, you should be playing, I think uh, a lot of people have been using Bunker, but I think it's kind of boring. Um, I think a lot of people are going for team fighters and like one support or something like this to make it so you have a lot of bursts to kill the supports and also being able to, uh, uh, you know, also and contest and, and, and have sustain so you don't instantly die. So a little combination of this probably is going to be what is going to be good at the end of the day, but we're going to have to see through these two weeks how the meta actually develops. Overall, I really like this mode. It's been very, very fun to play it. Way better, in my opinion, than Conquest. At least in just pure fun. Conquest is way more fun in terms of complexity, uh, but you have to learn it to actually get that fun in here. Uh, here, it's just it's instant. You, you just go get some people, kill them, and you're, and you're happy. And there's certain builds that, you know, especially, I feel like, for example, Condi Reaper, just running full shouts in there, you're probably going to kill anyone uh, in lower levels, which is very, very fun. But there you go. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if this helped you. Tell me if you have any questions or something I missed or something I had got wrong. And as uh, you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.